Okay, in this video we're going to um, answer this question here. So um, we we start with the first player. We take their number of tournaments and their total earnings, and we have to calculate the average per tournament. So the first player played 23 tournaments, and this is the total earnings. So to get the average, we've got to go the amount over the number of tournaments. So the so we go the uh, total earnings over uh, number of tournaments right so so in this case it's 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 you know one million eight hundred seventy one thousand over 23 or 23 into that number one <coughs> eight seven one uh, one six five point fifty now, well, how far do we have to round this thing? Round your answer to the nearest ten dollars. So remember, um, we've got units, tens, hundreds, thousands. So the nearest ten dollars will be in this column here, right, right over the six there. So we'll go as far as the units. So we'll know, we know whether to round up or down, right? So twenty-three into one won't go. Twenty-three into eighteen won't go. Twenty-three into one hundred eighty-seven. So I'm going to do a little trick here. I'm going to think okay I don't know my 23 times tables but I do know my twos and 2 into 18 is 9 times right so is it 9 well 10 23 is 230 right so 9 of them would be 200 something as well so I'm gonna try 8 I'm just gonna guess 8 so I'll do it over here 23 times 8 3 8 uh, 8 times 3 is 24, carry 2, 2 8 is 16, and 2 is 18, 184. That looks about right. So I'm going to guess 8, and that, right? So it's 23 under, into 187 goes 8 times. 8 goes over the 7 there, see that? 8 times 23 we found was 184. Subtract, and we get 3. 3 is less than 23, so that was a good job. And bring this 1 down here. To get 31. 23 into 31 <coughs> is just um, 1, right? 1 times 23 is 23 and subtract. 23 to get to 30 would be 7 and one more is 31. So that will subtract to give 8, would it? And then we bring the next number down, that's a 1. 23 into 81. Let's cro close off the 1 and the 3. Now it's 2 into 8 goes 4 times. But I think 4, 23 is going to be a little bit more. I'm going to try 23 times 3. 3 threes is 9, 3 twos is 6. So 69 might work. All right, 3 times six, 23 is 69. And subtract that 8 becomes a 7. And we carry 1 to 11. 11 minus 9 is 2, 7 minus 6 is 1. So 12 is less than 23, so that was a good guess. So we brought the 1 down here, so let's bring the 6 down here. 126. 23 into 126. What would that be? Well, 2 into 12 goes 6 times. So somewhere around there, you think? 200. 10 23s is 230, 5 of them would be 115. So I'm going to try 5. 5 threes is 15, carry 1, 5 twos is 10, and 1 is 11, right? 150. 6 minus 5 is 1, 12, 2 minus 1 is 1. So 11 is less than 23, that was good work also. And we need one more because we've got a round. Right, because the desk is going to be one more digit, and then the decimal point. The and the question says round to the nearest whole number, right? Or the nearest, sorry, round to the nearest ten dollars, rather ten dollars. So we round here. So we need one more digit to figure out whether we need to round up or round down. So bring this five down here. Twenty-three into hundred fifteen. We just found out was five times, wasn't it? Five times twenty-three hundred fifteen. Subtract remainder zero. So that worked out. And um, and we can stop here because remember the it said just round to the nearest ten dollars, so we're good to go as far as the nearest dollar. And do we round up or down now? 
we round up. So eight, one, three, and the five goes up to a six, and then zero, because that's the nearest ten dollars, right? So eighty one thousand three hundred sixty. Eighty one thousand three hundred sixty, right? And the same thing for the rest of them. You just take the uh, total earnings, divide by number of tournaments, and do a long division, and round to the nearest ten dollars.